Here is the stark reality of the second worst air crash in America's commercial aviation history. A scant seven minutes after taking off from Newark Airport, a twin-engine C-46 Army surplus plane bound for Miami plummets into the Elizabeth River in the center of Elizabeth, New Jersey, snuffing out all 56 lives aboard. Daylight reveals a scene of horror, which was made only less horrible by the heroic efforts of a pilot who fought his plane to the river area after a motor had failed and a wing had been shorn off. The crippled plane, roaring at low altitude over a densely populated section of the city, miraculously missed countless residences and ironically only tore the roof off one unoccupied house. The crash brought a five-pronged investigation by county, state, and federal officials into the possibility that overloading of the non-scheduled airliner may have contributed to the crash. A tragedy that may well bring about a closer scrutiny of the nation's skyways.